Well, you've decided to purchase a Callaway Rogue ST driver, but you don't know what shaft to get. In this video, Thomas and myself will walk you through each of the stock shaft options and we'll discuss some testing Thomas has done and tell you which is right for your swing. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing at Minnetonka. And Thomas, we're talking about new drivers from Callaway, specifically the stock shafts in the Rogue ST driver heads. We've got four driver heads, and you also just performed some testing uh, with each of the stock shafts, kind of incrementally different club speeds too. So um, with that said, let's start with kind of the lightest flex, uh, the lightest shaft, the Cypher here. We actually have four different stock weights that you could have the Cypher in and, and flexes and whatnot. So what did you test with the Cypher and kind of give us the, um, you know, the rundown on the Cypher for the stock shaft. Yeah, the, the Cypher Black comes in 40 and 50 gram weights. It also comes in your light flex and your regular flex golf shafts. Okay. When I was testing, I was testing the 40 gram regular golf shaft. All of the Cypher shafts are gonna, you know, maybe more stock for the Max D head. Okay. Uh, so lighter, you're gonna see a higher launch and higher spin with that particular shaft. The kick point is gonna be very, very low with that shaft. Okay, so and that generated for you at least very easy launch and height in the air. I know I was surprised, usually when you kind of knock your speed down, that ball then kind of launches low, doesn't quite get off the ground, but that was not the case with the Cypher shaft. Easy launch, easy spin, and ton of stopping power, and you know, really that landing angle stayed up uh, for golfers that might need that. So. Yeah, it's, um, it's a golf shaft, so if your swing speed's under 90 miles an hour, it's a golf shaft to definitely consider. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're kind of in that range from say 80 to 90 miles an hour with your driver, it's probably a very good option. And then moving into maybe that 90 plus mile an hour driver spot, we got the Mitsubishi Tensai AV X-Link, the blue. And so you hit that um, with a 55 gram with the Rogue ST Max head. So tell us about that one. Yeah, so there is a 55, there is also a 65 gram. We're talking in the regular flex and the stiff flex category. As you mentioned, the Rogue ST Max driver mm -hmm. head is specifically designed more for that particular head. Uh, the torque is going to be kind of more of a mid torque in the regular golf shaft. In the stiff golf shaft, it's going to be maybe a little bit more lower to mid with regards to torque. And also, when you follow when that follows suits, you're talking about launch and spin to drop a little bit compared to the Cypher. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of that ne next step up for maybe not your moderate or slow swinging players. You know, if you're kind of in the, I guess, average range for an amateur golfer, that's probably where you'd fall into with the, the stock shafts here. And then the next step up is actually very similar. I was almost the same shaft, but just a little bit stiff, right? The uh, Tensai AV X-Link White. So uh, it's a little bit heavier and stiffer, I assume? Yeah, exactly. So available in stiff flex and extra stiff flex in 65 grams or 75 grams. I actually believe the 65 is kind of around about 68 grams. Okay. Uh, so it's just a little little bit heavier yet, but it's in that weight class around about sure. that area. Um, the, the torque is very, very low. So it's very, very low, very, very stable golf shaft. And we tested both these two shafts, yep. the 65 and 75 gram class shaft. The Rogue ST Max LS, I tested the 65 gram stiff shaft. Mm -hmm. And then in the triple diamond head, yep. so that head's a little bit smaller, I tested it with the 75 gram shaft. And that's gonna be a very, very low torque and very, very low spinning golf shaft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, though, so that one, again, that's aimed at those players that have more speed or maybe need to reduce spin a little bit as well. That's where the X-Link white of the Tensai is gonna come in a little bit. And then I did wanna bring up the testing and kinda how we formatted that again, because you did kind of change up your club speed a little bit so that you know with the Cypher, you were swinging slower, kind of in the range of where a golfer might fit into that shaft. Right. And then you kind of incrementally moved up as we got into the stiffer golf shaft here. And so one thing I noticed with each of the, the testing and the, and the driver heads that you tested, you know, plenty, uh, plenty high enough landing angle. You know, I know you talk about 30 to 40 degrees is the right range to make sure golfers are getting the ball up in the air enough uh, to get their max distance. And you're in the high 30s with all of them. So clearly these, these golf shafts are performing and delivering that launch that's needed for that player. Yeah, regardless of what your club speed is. Now, you know, speaking of club speed, as I mentioned, you've, you've got the, the Cypher. It's going to fit golfers really under 90 miles an hour. And that's generally when I talk about regular or light flex golf shafts. 
once we start getting over 90, maybe 90, 95, that's when we have the conversation about a stiff golf shaft. Mm -hmm. So that's when we kind of talk about the, the Tenzai AV Blue. So when I was testing the AV Blue 55 gram stiff with the Rogue ST Max, I was swinging about 98 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. We noticed that the spin dropped a little bit compared to the, the Cypher. Uh, also, it did, so did the launch. Yep. So good, good combination there with that particular club head. And then for the last two shafts, the last two heads essentially were both the X-Link White, both in the 65 yep. and 75 gram. Um, about 110 miles an hour, 105, 110 is when you have that conversation about extra stiff. Yeah. So uh, generally, generally speaking, you want to go stiffer to control that club face. And I felt like I was just a much stable golf shaft with the Tenzai White with the speed that I generate when I'm swinging quite a bit faster. So we tested at 109 miles an hour with the 65 and then 114 miles an hour with the 75. And yes, we noticed the launch you know, angle dropped as we were testing the heavier mm -hmm. golf shaft, it got heavier. We noticed the spin rate dropped as we also got a little bit heavier. Yep. But I wanna to touch on one thing here. You know, I generally play a heavy, extra stiff or yep. very heavy stiff golf shaft. We noticed the, the, the tolerances here. Yep. So you can see the plus or mi minus number, the consistency with that X-Link white. I want to bring out the dispersion pattern. There you, you go. Notice how very, very consistent there. And you know, that's what it comes down to is, is finding a golf shaft that's going to be you know, repeatable all the time. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you hit the ball straight. And that's probably the most important thing. Right. And for you, we saw the fit that's best for you is going to be the, you know, the heaviest and stiffest of these stock shafts. Um, and we saw the dispersion circle match that theory. So uh, that's why it's so, import so important for golfers to come in and get fit. Uh, work with a master fitter such as Thomas, uh, either through a tour van fitting in store or through a virtual fitting with one of our online fitting and support team members. And we'll get you set up for the right stock shaft for your Callaway Rogue ST driver. Uh, Thomas, thank you for joining, doing some testing for us, getting your insight today. I think a lot of golfers will be very informed with this one and, and know what decision to make here. Yep, not a problem.